Welcome back to more Shibli Uluma, our last great king of the Hittite campaign for Total War Pharaoh. We continue where we left things off last time, and these sea peoples are not giving us any breathing room. They are hunting Shibli Uluma down um, as rapidly as they can. We cannot retreat. We've already retreated once from them, uh, so we have to stand and fight them. The order resolve is a valiant defeat, so we're going to try and fight them and just see if we can maybe smash into their generals with my chariots and cripple their morale that way. Uh, I'm more worried about this secondary army coming in, the secondary force. They've got some more powerful infantry and more full uh, infantry within their, within their unit groups there. So we're just going to see what we can do. I imagine we're probably going to lose this, but we're going to see how many of them we can take down with us. So in we go. <laughs> and if you're new here and wondering, who am I? Sorry, who am I playing as? Shubalu Luma. Iluma. But often it's Close enough, right? Okay, they're reinforced coming in here, so I don't know if they'll just come straight on in, but we're going to deploy as if we've got just that first force coming to try and deal with. So we're going to try and break that one. So we're going to have the chariots there. Okay. I mean, it's not even it's not even like a case that I can be like, oh, I'll just I'll have I'll keep some of these guys back so I don't lose you. We're going to lose, guys. We're going to lose, guys. So we're going to need to commit all of them at some point, but I will keep these guys back until the bitter end. We've got a few skirmishes. Follow your king. No, they're smart. They're deploying where those reinforcements are coming in from. Well, we want to fight them in the plains, in the open ground a little bit, where I can swing around with my chariots a bit more. Maybe just maybe we can draw them to us. They're not waiting for those reinforcements. I mean, I assume the reinforcements are coming straight on in. We've got to go for this now, though. Oh, the reinforcements haven't come in, I think, or they're hidden. 409 is all we've got. No chance of stopping us. Shoop doop de doop. You call him supple dip? What? <laughs> okay, whatever you're into there. Ay ay ay. Appetite for destruction. That's these guys. Yeah. Oh, that's why they're so strong. They have a plus thirty percent charge bonus. Right, there's the reinforcements. That general is slightly out in front, so I'm going for him. No mercy. Get out. Chariots. Go. Chariots moving. Sergeants of Hati. Pull them away. Chariots moving. So slingers, I can't get into them yet. Back in we go. Come on, bring me that general's head. He's facing the wrong way. Yes. Beautiful. Get out. Places chariots. Reeling into position. Here we go. Places chariots. We sighted them. Triumph awaits. And get out. Triumph awaits. Wheeling into position. Yeah, we'll charge into those Kopesh warriors in a minute. Chariots. Death, thank you. The wrath of Hati. I will not let Hati falter. Break their spirit. Keep moving them around. 
Peace! I stand ready. Chariots! Victory awaits! Go, go, go. All through chariots. Chariots moving! Chariots In you go. Into these guys. Frantic, rapid, clicking. Pull them back. Do it again. Pull out. Go back in again. Pull back. Do it again. Got to break these armored raiders here. And we go. Pull the chariots away because they're getting wrecked. Death take you. Oh, that was big damage there. Come on, pull them back. We've got to deal with these guys as well. Into this lot. Just rinse and repeat. Pull them back, pull them back, pull them back. Frantic clicking is the name of the game. Break, them. Break these guys. Come on. Leave the damage in there a little bit longer. Come on. Chariots moving. Yes. Come on for the great king. Chariots maneuver. They die today. Die fools. Chariots. We are on the car. Charge them again. Charge him again. Oh, Shupaluluma. Pull through. Carrots, pull it back. Pull on in, pull them back. These spears holding over here are doing the gods work right now. Always that unit coming in there, not good for us. Make them tremble. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, there's the break. Victory. Where Roddy did it. Backed into a corner. No more of this. Superluma is victorious. No We've finally blood. broken him. <laughs> oh, I love chariots. Good job, guys. That birthday energy is true. Yeah, I guess for those watching this on YouTube, I'm streaming this day after my birthday, but we're doing this as my uh, birthday celebration stream today. So I'm hyped up on birthday celebration energy, which clearly makes me fight better in battle. Command my troops better. All right, we'll try and wipe out as many of them as we can. But I don't want them coming back, really. Oh, my days. All right, each and every one of you gets uh, some new holdings and land at Hattusa. For your brave defense. Not abandoning your great king in his most dire of hours. Your names shall truly be legend. Oh boy. Do I have any land left to give? That's probably that's probably a fair question, actually. Um yeah, Katusa's under siege, so probably shh, 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 shh. It's the thought that counts, right? Lionheart good with chariots, which is which are cavalry basically. 
What matters is this. Yeah, I can be good with them when I need to be. When I don't forget about them, I'm all good. Oh, boy. Well done. Well done, mate. It's that massive conk, I tell you. Conk of victory. Beautiful. That's the stuff. The, the, the whole, that whole unit is broken and scattered around. So they're chasing ones over that way. Now they're chasing this dude. And there's one more over here. They just like splintered. All over the place. Go on, finish him. Come on, guys. There we go. Close victory from Valiant Defeat. Boom. They've got one remaining in 82. We should get some really tasty resources from them, which we do need right now. We need some tasty resources. Beautiful. We lost the Hittite Axeman there, but actually the rest of them, some of them down to just one unit remaining. That is golden. Lovely stuff. Uh, you swore as valuable prisoners. That's not as good resource gain as I was hoping for, to be fair, but we, we do need the extra food right now. Anything we can get, let's grab it. Probably, probably because we... Um, we'd already kind of taken most of the riches from their bodies in our last few battles. Yeah, go, go hit them over there, not me. I'm not making any treaties with you because I'm going to wipe you out. So I don't want my reliability hit. Freaking invaders. There's so many invaders all over the place. You'd be raiders. You only need to deal with them. Okay. Worship tier up. Arena. Nice. We can now get a dedicated general in there, which is upkeep cost reduction. Um, well, looking at me other armies, who's got a fancy army? The blade of Hati. Your upkeep is that. Anyone to beat that. The blade of Hati. You've got some gold His in there, otherwise more food is in that one. The blade of You've got Hati. a bit. Veteran of Hati. So I guess it's going to be uh, Timulu Luma. That helps our resources quite nicely, but we've got raiders all over the my place here. Is to my men. I only tolerate strength. Some more. Never yeah, surrender. we already sallied out again. That did not go well. We need to try and break that. But we don't have an army anywhere near kind of close enough to deal with that. You guys are still just time. alive. But All we are getting easy. replenishment on Blue Luma, which is good. So we'll go and finish those guys off. Is that other army ready? No, I two more turns. But I was going to attack them with Bound this army anyway. Duty. Start gaining some res resources. Touching You're going to die... Wherever you go, but I don't want you to Yeah, just be behind my line, so I'm gonna finish you off now. Bye bye. Oh nice. That's a firm finish. The gods continue to bless me. Good to know. Uh can't now get down here and attack their Vigilance settlement today. What we'll do is we will raid them then. Look to fools. Hang on, do you really need that much? 50% movement. Stay ready. I say, surely, yeah, I can just move then. Get into it. 51%. And then we will raid. Then get, to raiding, get to raiding. That's the plan. Reduce your upkeep cost. That's also the plan. I fight for Hati. 
Uh, I don't know what we're building just yet. Yeah, you guys are all set up over there. How far away from a Shimzu Hall are we? A ways away. And I can't do any embezzling. I could ask that to stop, but I don't have enough gold for that. I was going to... Was I going to... Uh, cease? Oh, cease entry. Yeah, I don't know it though, do I? Or was I building up my relationship with you? Just because you're the only one I can, to be fair. Yeah, it's, it's all I can do is this. Um, nothing that is going to give me any, any gold. Hmm. I can game, go for more legitimacy. Don't think anyone's going to be in a position to threaten me, though. No, no potential pretenders. We've secured that. We just need to gain more legitimacy so we can go for the next tier of powers. I just hope someone Hattie goes into Lawgiver peers. and um, Even me, the great king. Kanti. So that's a few more bits and pieces. Like, that is side upon K. Oh, I could ask for a case, actually. Elite units and special recruitment. I think we already, do we already benefit from that? Um, right, I can I can ask for... Oh, no, I've already done the ruling. Damn. Mm, 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 mm. Can disband a rebellion once per year? Can't ask for those, though. So, I guess I'm just going to gossip against you. Free use of the C... Oh, and that, that is cease, isn't it? Well, that's... No, that's counter. Destroy this plot. I mean, I might be able to do that anyway. That is own character faction wide morale body. Let's try cease. Let's try that. We have a saying. Oh right, yeah. So I can use that one. But you know it, of course. On a plot whose target yes, is you. Oh, great. Well, didn't know that. Fun. Right, we'll build up relations with you again. That's fine. Um. Yeah, if we can clear them away here, that'd be good. It's the one they're attacking, which, yeah, I'd like to get that repaired and get that in there as well. Um, Do we have the that building? Yeah. So we want to get rid of that, although the workforce growth is good. Although, what is it giving us? Plus three. Yeah, it's fine. Get rid of that one and we'll get the bronze boosting production there. You're on happiness. If you've got all your livestock, oh no, you should have you should have wood. Don't have any wood in there. We went for happiness though. You guys don't need the happiness building here, you're fine. Yeah, you can have that upgraded. Do it. Tien that we've just taken. Yeah. Chuck that in there as well. Unsigned skill points. Shibu Luma. Let my kingdom be torn asunder. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, which one were we looking to go for? Breakthrough charges. New. Catch a breath. Hunt master. Probably, yeah, Hunt Mars is the nicest one of those. But for that, we need that and that at 13, which I don't know if we can actually do now with, with the way we've spent our points. That up to 13. Um, well, we should have enough, I think. Well, let's go up to level 10 on that one, then start bringing that one up. 10 and 10, then we'll need to go up to 3 on both of them. So that'll be eight. Ah, oh, no, we'll be one short. I can't reset those. If someone's made a skill point reset mod for this, I might have to do that. Tumulo Luma, yeah, you've not moved. That's fine. We are going to hunt these guys down. Yeah, and we can finally order resolve some sea peoples. Good. Lovely stuff. Yep, we I smashed him, and that's all that matters. 
Um, we need to get back here. The city is keep replenishing, and then we'll go and grab all of that. You're now going to have to defend that. It's going to be as far south as we go. And then... Blue Luma. That this way. City will remember me. I think it's Hunt, hunt Master is what I want to go for with everyone, really. Gone for movement, so no more movement. We need... I would start going through upkeep reduction with you. So yeah, we need presence and fortitude. Outpost construction and over here. More resources and then probably actually a fort here. Because if we've got to leave that army here to constantly defend, we can a dump a lot of troops in there for reduced upkeep. Right. Shubalong Luma. We going to lose anybody? Nope. Nice. Not completely. That's good. Lost no one, in fact. Lovely. This Follow is good. On to the next one. First. Beautiful. Finally, vengeance is mine. We've had a tough fight. Shibalu Luma, but at last. At last, vengeance is yours. King of jump into the settlement. At least we are in this together. Can't create any more troops in there just yet. But that's fine. We're going to probably need the additional garrison here. Because we're going to constantly be under threat. Great King of Hati. Right, let's end the turn. Everything's looking pretty positive there apart from bronze and what have you. But that's fine. Um, speed charge bonus. Yeah, you've got all these chariots, so that, that is good. Worthwhile having there. Not keep minus 30, yeah, so we should keep building the shrines where we can. How are we looking on victory jokes? Are we getting any We are getting close to minor victory, which is nice. Um, which, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're, what which victory we're going to stop at. We might just stop it at minor. We might just we might push on to major. I don't think I'm going to push for ultimate victory. We'll kind of just see what the state of the game's like. I mean, we've had quite a few back and forth already in this. Um, so I'm quite happy if we make this a shorter one with minor victory and then we look to start other new content and series. But we'll kind of just see what we want to do. Uh, feats of all survive the sepals. That gives us ten, so that's quite a good one if we survive till turn 140. We're at turn 64 though, so we are a ways off that actually. That would potentially be a longer objective. Um, make your claim undeniable and your rule unassailable. Doesn't tell me how I do that, though. Have no one challenging me, I guess. Just got to conquer more of our homelands and that will secure quite a bit. Landmarks as well. Build them. That will give us a few more. So we'll kind of see what goes on there. Right, let's end the tent. Uh, let's see. Having a little wander. He's just out patrolling the seas for sea peoples right now. That's fine. As long as you don't come after me. That's all good. Let's be friends from a distance, you know. Let's not get up close and personal here. You've ended your barter agreement with me. I mean, you're who I'm planning on going after next to unite all the lands of uh, of Hattusa under Shubilu Luma's banner. That's the plan. That is very much the plan. That's my vassal, I think. Hello. Yeah, you're going to be annoying hitting all these outposts. So I'm going to need to hunt you down with Shibaluluma next turn. Start moving towards you. And they are attacking me at Hattusa. It's a valiant defeat. We are going to fight this one, obviously, because I don't want to lose my capital. Because if I lose my capital, that is, that is really bad for me. So in we go. And we hold on to it game looks pretty yeah i mean yeah visually it looks it looks really nice i know some people that don't quite like the 
art style, the graphic style for this. But I personally don't have anything against it graphically. It looks it looks really nice. It runs really well. Right, they're gonna split their forces, don't they? So we've got one group coming in here. And the other coming in over here. I mean that is that's okay. They're not in so many different sections. I can kind of deal with that. Don't have many troops to split. That's okay. I guy wish I had some chariots though. Oh, what I would give for some chariots. Let's have you guys paired up. Like that's the general. They have ladders. We've got to try and hold the wall, so I need the towers doing some damage to them. We need my spears over here with the general. So have you guys over there. So we'll put these spears over here. Because that's a siege tower, isn't it? If I take out the ladders, do they lose? No, because they can still attack the gates manually. It just takes a lot longer for them to chip it down unless they've got axe units in them, in which case they do a bit more damage. So the missile troops over here. Let's do that and then okay, we'll have two axes here. And two over there. Oh, that's just going to have to be the other way around because we'll need the general. Inspiring the troops here and take these guys all that away. There we go. They've got some reinforcements, Kopesh warriors. They're, they're not shabby at all. I'd be very tempted to charge you guys into them outside the walls here, but otherwise you're going to get picked off a lot. So let's send you through the main gates. In they come. We'll fast forward it. Yeah, I think Rome 1 and Medieval 2 are the only Total War games, and I'm assuming probably in Shogun 1 and Medieval 1, actually, that if you took out all the siege equipment, that was the end of the siege. I personally think that that's the kind of that's the right call that the siege carries on after you lose your siege equipment, because you wouldn't necessarily give up if it was a choice target and you nearly breached in certain points, you'd still keep pushing because you may well have lost your siege equipment, but maybe you were making some gains elsewhere. So... I don't mind that it doesn't immediately end in more recent Total Wars. At least we don't have pocket ladders anymore. That's a, that's a benefit anyway. I'm glad they've got rid of the uh, throwing torches that they had in other Total War games, though. guys over here that ladder never get past us. Two warriors. I think is heading up over here or that tower rather Ready your spears. spears to position spears. jabs are you throwing from here can you throw? You should be able to, just in range. Yeah, nice. Archers oh, probably can't. Just play the bowman here. Yeah, 
we can! He tied javelin! Two warriors! Faster now! Get on that, you should all be able to fire. Get on in. You're my my main hope now. Break their spirits. Try and keep them off all the walls that the towers just keep firing. That's what I'm hoping they'll do and just whittle down the enemy's numbers, which looks like that's what's ha happening. Ready to fight. Oh god. The heat. Kill them all. That is most loyal. You chill under the wall. I don't send you guys out and fire, but I don't think that would do much for us in the end. Yeah, let's keep firing. In Watercutter's name. Soldiers of Hatti. Break their spirits. Yeah, you guys up there. And in. I, th I think we've got this. I'm going to whack it on fast forward for now. Just keep an eye on it. Might be off topic, but long time viewer Lionheart wondering if you would ever do another series on DEI for room 2 or 1212 for Attila. Um, so yeah, I've been meaning to kind of... I've been following 1212 for a long time. And I, I still kind of don't have the answer because I haven't dived into it recently. I've been following along with it, but I haven't kind of had the answer I'm looking for yet. Just by reading kind of like the update posts and stuff. So I might just have to dive in and give it a go myself unless any of you guys have played it recently. But how last time I dived into 1212, the main issue I had with it for kind of doing a main a full series was that they would added in like a lot of the like specific or unique units for the factions in the game and lots of the unique faction mechanics um, for the mod, but they hadn't balanced it. So there were quite a few glaringly, obviously OP factions in it. Um, that kind of broke the balance of it, but maybe that's well changed now. Maybe they probably updated it and balanced it a bit further. So if that's the case, then yeah, I'd be very, very likely to kind of check that out in the next couple of months for sure. Um, and DEI for room two, I'm still kind of like umming and ahhing about it. Just I find that there's some things that DEI does that I just that I feel like it does too much almost, and I, I don't quite like all the changes. Ready for battle! Throw javelins! But yeah, I might I might return. Like I have no immediate plans to return to room two right now. Um, kind of if at all. But if I were to, it probably would be with DEI for like one last hurrah. And that would likely be to kind of revisit either Rome or Sparta, I think. I'm quite keen on potentially checking those out again, seeing as those were two of my first ever campaigns that I did for Rome two. Is it like last episode was the episode of not necessarily miraculous losses, but it was the I thought I was going to win those battles. I thought I was going to be OK, and I ended up losing both of the key battles I had to fight last episode. And then this episode looks like we're going to have some miraculous wins. We're actually holding them. I mean, I'm not too surprised by the siege, actually, because you always tend to do a lot better in a siege than you do. out in the field and not the numbers don't necessarily fully translate even if they outnumber you they have to outnumber you by quite a bit to really overwhelm you yeah, i've got these guys sorted out on the walls but they're a good like 40 50 troops lower than me it's not a lot in the grand schemes things but when we've only got small small armies anyway it can make all the difference javelins are going archers are going these guys don't have flaming shot, otherwise I would be tempted to switch them to flaming shot just to break the enemy morale and finish them off. Thing is, we don't have many troops up on the walls here, and they are they are gonna break through my guys at some point, and then I'm gonna be in trouble over here. I'm probably gonna have to then fall back I from this position. 
until I can get some of these guys over to help out. These guys are starting to break though, which is good. Uh, potential playing is Sparta. Nice. Good luck. Enjoy. Happy birthday thing. It was so my birthday was yesterday, but I, I took the day off, had a nice chill day with my family, and uh, decided that you know today I'd just do the birthday big birthday celebration stream, hang out with you guys all day. Been playing as the Empire of Nicaea in Total for Tiller. I feel the faction balancing is similar to how factions were made to work. Okay, that's cool. That's that's good to that's good to know because I know like initially I think the last time I checked out twelve twelve was when they added in the Teutonic Order, and. Oh boy, were they like really OP. Maybe they still are. I mean, you know, there are obviously going to be some factions that are naturally stronger than others. I don't want it perfectly, perfectly balanced, but I don't want it to be a full steamroll with some specific factions from the off all the time. Appreciate that, man. How are we doing over here? Okay, they've beaten one of the units back. Are you guys out of ammo? Yes. Right. Get on the walls then, guys. I'm not throwing my general in because I don't think he's got the staying power. It's a siege of attrition here. Bounce power just swung back a little bit. Not that much space on the walls. So they can't get my more powerful Kopesh troops in there against these guys. I don't necessarily want to risk pulling my spears back and having them break. That, that tower is doing God's work, though. It's constantly firing at these guys in their flanks, weakening them. Get the Kopesh warriors in there. Oh, oh. They have managed to breach over here. Destroy them! Destroy them! We broke their spirits! In Hattie's name! Yeah, I'm worried about that. General's got 49 troops. I think I can quite take that on. Archers just tie them up for now. We should still be good. We just gotta we just gotta clear these guys off the wall. Might and glory! Come on, you guys are going. Good, good, good. Not yet, though. He's still hanging on. This is easy. Come on. Without One left. Come on, someone kick him off the wall. No, he's down. Good. Right. On then we can reinforce map. these guys, and that might just be enough to turn the tide with these guys getting the win over here. Soldiers of I think we got it, though. It's hopefully only a matter of time. Before they realize it's all over. Yeah, there we go. There's the break. Right, just charge them down, though. Because I doubt we'll get a full wipe, but hopefully we'll get enough that even if they do come back, it's a straight up order resolve. Oh, boy. Top work, guys. That's it. Flee. Leave, leave here, lambs. Oh boy, we done it. I don't think we're going to catch any more of them now. The towers are still just firing a little bit. So let them have one or two more shots. Oh boy, that worked nice. Oh yes, I run past all the other towers. How do you guys feel about towers? Like, not necessarily just for Pharaoh, but what are your what are your preferences? Like towers, um, like in Pharaoh, where they all just fight anyway. You don't actually have to have troops on them. Obviously, the towers have much limited range, so you can kind of avoid them and march on in and take them out with artillery first. Not in Pharaoh because there's no artillery, but in you know, or modern times or medieval times, things like that, where you've got artillery. Do you prefer where you don't ha actually have to station a unit to activate the towers? Or do you prefer the... Do you prefer having to station units on it to activate them? What are the preferences? Close victory. Bada bing, bada boom. Hatusa saved.
Do, 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 do. That worked out pretty well. They lost six units. Um, yeah, we, we, it's just the garrison, so we're going to take the replenishment. Lovely. Guiding hand. Lose a call action, but start black belt plot against chief or bodyguards. Yeah, do it. Okay, new ambition. Maintain 104 units total. It's 2,000 gold and plus one victory point. Um, that would be another 20 stack army. Basically, just under with what we're currently recruiting. Gives 2,000 gold. We could just... We, we actually are building up that other army. So we might be able to actually, with the small smattering of forces, if we just go for cheap militia units to deal with the rebellions. 2,000 gold is good, but another victory point is nice. Otherwise, wood, bronze, and food. Like, none of that's really jumping out at me. So, yeah, I'm going to go for the might must grow. I wish there's a way you could have multiple ambitions active at once, like a technology for that. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, it needs to probably be along the end of the decree line because that was what we went. Boundless ambition is plus one choice slot, but I don't think there's one that actually gives you a whole nother... Um, a whole nother ambition to actually activate. Probably because it'd be a bit a bit too powerful with all of its rewards. Battle loot, that'd be kind of nice. Um You've got a raw decree in there. Right now, which one am I researching? That one. More gold, yeah. More gold, my lord. We have time to do two ambitions. I That's true, yeah. You probably wouldn't have the, That's probably why you don't, wouldn't have the time to do it in ten turns. But I feel like if you have one that was like Righteous capture a settlement that has that produces wood and another one that captures settlement that, that produces food, that those would be I two quite easy ones. I don't know. Great king of I quite like the, the ambitions though coming in. I quite like how that shapes a little bit of direction for you when you want it. Yeah, I can't rush that. Damn. I could rush building something here, though. Which is the one that gives me reduced upkeep. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. Pop that in there and rush it. And then we're going to visit it on our way. Gives the upkeep reduction. And yeah, we're going to hunt down you guys. Make it count. So I will set this to repair. And I'll also set that to repair as well. Expired barters. Yeah. Well, a pleasant surprise. A Present a pleasant surprise. Um, that was I offer bronze and they give me stone. We don't need to do that. We're fine. Uh, do we have another one expire? I think no. It's just those guys. Cool. I should get used to it. ruling. Yeah, I want to pop that in there. Does the refuge give us? No, just grow food and uh, upgrade you. at that smugglers bit in there so yeah smugglers and garrison course is all we're gonna have money for we're gonna start attacking these guys pick off the war here we go they die today we've got to start sieging them though oh wow actually they've the spearmen they've got there is uh better than i was expecting i wonder if they might sally out to me That's annoying. That takes that army. I was hoping that army would be useful going around conquering stuff, but that's going to be out of it for a while. They've only got the two, re no, three regions. They're Lower Wanda. And that's another capital which we'll need to siege down. Uh, they're not getting anything from a fort, are they? No. Raiders over there. Surprised these guys haven't pressed the attack. But this is our cheap and cheerful one we're just going to throw together. Uh, faction units. We get Hattusen swordsmen and tribesmen. Let's throw in the Hattusen swords. 
can afford a little bit more. Um, that's the garrison, isn't it? I'm going to put that in and I'm going to rush that. Oh, well, hang on. Where's all my gold coming back from? Diplomacy? Upkeep cost reduction, probably. Um, I mean, we can afford that. Boom. Now the garrison here is going to be tougher in the future. That's good. That should be less susceptible to getting wrecked. We can get that landmark, the Royal Legal Complex. That's quite nice. Uh, tier 5. Yeah, tier 4. What are we doing in here? Oh, are we going to go for... Are we going to go for the target yard here? We also want the Grand Temple. Of Arena, which we can do if we had more stone. We're just, and we need more growth as well. Um, and obviously all these bits have been more resources and everything else. Um, I mean, the main thing we want is our Royal Infantry from here, actually. Wretched Hattus and Axeman. We've got it down here that we're building up. The native barracks and the target yard. So we could go for the infantry housing if we wanted to do for our native troops. Or we could get the reinforced Hittite chariots. Which, I mean, we can get all of them, to be fair. Um, we just don't, wouldn't have all the food stuff. Although we can probably... Is there anything we can get rid of? Corinthus Temple? No. We do need more food, so chuck the... Shut the piggies in there. We won't go for the native infant, uh, the faction specific infantry there, though. That's all right. All right, set them upgrades available. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, do that. Skin, go for that and get me my bronze. Uh, yeah, I need to get. <laughs> Don't upgrade that then. Get that, but we need more stone. Okay, fine. Do upgrade that. Uh, plus two in one turn. Lovely. You guys keep replenishing. Then we march for um, Paphos. The, that ray, Luca wave is invading. You've not moved. I yes. will unite this land. Fine. We're building all of these where we can. Can we go Grace back over here for upkeep? Yep. Boom. History will remember me. Then back in your pop. And then we My end the turn. Wait. What distinguished age have I reached? Uh, I'm now third. Oh, what do you guess? Don't like those freaking invaders wandering all over. Ah, oh, they did go up and attack that one. I thought they wouldn't do because I was right next to them. I could block them off and take them out. Okay, well, hopefully they brought themselves into their death. Seat on the way. Raids. Quite a few of them. You guys oh are land. nearly fully replenished. I'm gonna... What does that one do? That one does upkeep reduction. That's the fort. Okay, so neither of those are actually be useful to me right now. I am gonna go all the way in here. I'm gonna trespass against them. Land. Do not care. Okay, I'm gonna have to force march because I want to be able to see we if they've got an ahead. army here. Seven plus that army of six. Okay, well, we should be able to go in and take it out. That's fine. Or action. Uh, blackmail. I can't cease that one unless I spend it. I'd have to. I'd have to talk to you. I'd have to gossip to be in for a chance. Oh, there we go. It's, I mean, I'm at war with Larawanda, so it kind of makes sense you're trying to discredit me, but it's 0% chance. So, um, I'm now blackmailing you. 
Yeah, so you're the only one that's going to do it's, it's, it's obviously going to be you doing these plots because the others are loyal to me. They're my own guys. Come on. Come on. Think it through. <laughs> I would kind of wouldn't mind if there was like a loyalty mechanic and if there was under a certain amount of loyalty, they could also scheme against you. Just play into the whole or maybe it's like done off legitimacy a bit as well. Like playing to it right. Yeah, more more monuments. Uh, although are these both on the coast? No. So cancel that one and build the monument up here where it'll be safer. And then along here, build at least a lookout. And what do we want to do down there? Still can't do the food. We can't do that until that's gone through. Could rush it, but no. Where was I going to... Oh, I've already spent the stone. I was thinking of somewhere... Was it the landmark? No, it was the Grand Temple. The Grand Temple I was going to potentially look to build. I need a thousand stone. So, not today. More food, please. More bronze, please. Yeah, there's no point repairing that until I can get rid of those raiders that are just harassing it. Where did... Ah, there they've gone. Ten of them down here. Can I take them on? Maybe, but you know what? I'm not going to risk it. Um, I am... What's that? Bonus versus large. That's not really what I want. Charges... Um, and is that, is that, hang on, is that armor piercing? Yes. I'm going to take another charger, another swordsman, then we'll chase after them next turn. Adept in war. Right, you can finally get on the war path, and I'm going to send you straight Prepare on over. Righteous warrior. It's just normal stance at first, heart. actually. To the shrine you for more movement. To my labor. And then I can move a little bit further, we get over there. We can take that wood settlement. Holy moly. No, we can't. I am busy right now. I'm busy right now. Uh, they will also get, yeah, output. Where is the output? It's over there. The okay. Rebels. Great. People's this has not gone well then. Um, that one should actually, yeah, not be a fort and should instead be um, an outpost. Righteous king of you guys can get wrecked over here. Come on. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Kick him in the nuts, smack him in the face, and then ask him a question that he will not get up from. For the glory of Hattie. Right. Give them their freedom. Shiblu Luma, I think My what I want to do with you, first. you are harassing me vassal right now, but hopefully they will deal with it soon. I'm going to go for Larawanda, hit their capital, and also oh, then try right. and deal with those guys. Go away. Yeah, pop you in here. Can I get... Yeah, I can get the Hittite archers, can't I? I think I might like some of them. Although renowned axes as well would be tasty. Definitely got enough chariots. What are the upgraded ones like? Armor to do some ones. More missile damage and obviously better armor. To prosperity. Um, what do I need? I probably actually need more infantry actually to do some climbing. So I will treat myself to some renowned is one axeman. Also, yeah, it looks like their stats are pretty good. What's that? Bonus versus shields. Yeah, nice. Stand by then your army's ready. You can move to Lara Wanda. That one's going to get hit again. That one's going to get hit again. They might move that army that they've got away though to try and try Continue and break the siege, siege over here. So Bound maybe we'll get duty. lucky. Yeah, Shoop, Shoop's going to move up from Hittite here. Kingdom. Save stone is what I really need to be doing. Trading for it, Commoners which I can probably do soon. Do, 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 do. Never surrender. You're sat there. Tim's moving on in. Right, we can do one more in. Turn. Let's see where things lie the next time. 
And then we're going to, speaking of Ursu, we're going to be switching on over to doing an hour of Ursu. Checking out more chaotic campaign customization. I knew it. I knew it. Wow. Okay. So they're reinforcing that whole army as well. Okay. We are going to, we're going to break off. We're going to run away from the settlement. So if they want to come and attack me, they can only hit me with that army. That's now gone in there, but that means that other settlement is probably safe to go through there. My vassals lost his territory. It's been raised. You five units somehow managed to beat the army of 11. I guess they were low tier ones. Hopefully they recover because I'm quite fond of that vassal. They've done me some solids in this campaign so far. Beautiful. It's Shemsu Hoare. And what's skimming copper? Local scribes report that copper is degrading in quality over time. Uh, arson tools regularly bend or break with moderate use. And bronze forged from the metal loses its edge after a single battle. So merchants are coming forth to accuse the kingdom's copper workers of skimming for their own gains. A claim that the craftsmen vehemently deny. Instead, they point to the various Kaskin bo uh, border raids uh, that have recently diminished their reserves. Whether greed or foreign attrition is at cause, all agree it must be stopped at once. All the artisans preside over a case in the uh, Corner Caspar region. Charitable judge, influence plus three, faction wide, diplomatic relations plus ten. Uh, six turns, and we also get support the artisans. Uh, bronze recruitment cost minus thirty percent, or punish them for skimming. Plus four happiness, plus ten diplomatic relations, and five thousand food. Or decide that I'm going to punish them for skimming. No one shall skim in my lands. Right. I fight for my brothers. Declare war. Yes. Strike with purpose. I'm not going to lose anybody there. Nice. Okay. Well, we will kick off with a nice, mighty little. Order resolve at the start of the next episode. Grab some more bronze. We'll have completed our conquest of Cyprus and our hopefully bronze stronghold uh, will then be secure. And then carry on from there. So if you're watching over on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed another episode. Until the next one, take care and ciao for now.